Hello friends. Today, we are going to view the picturesque Mandu from Rani Rupmati Mandar, which is widely known as Rani Rupmati Pavilion or Rani Rupmati Mahal. Mandu or Mandar is a place of historical significance and now a tourist destination in Madhya Pradesh. Rani Rupmati Pavilion is one of the most beautiful and notable places in Mandav. The geographic location of Rani Rupmati Palace also makes it special. It is this palace that separates Nima from Malwa Plateau and the separation is distinctly visible. It is one of the prominent attractions in Mandu Monuments with beautiful views from top. The history of Manda is incomplete without the saga of Baz Bahadur and Rani Rukmati. Their dedication to music was unique. It is the witness of the immortal love of Rani Rukmati and King Baj Bahadur. It is also called the village of ruins. But the stones of these ruins also speak with us. It is believed that the pavilion was originally built as an army observation post and was initially a massive low hall with two rooms at each end and a thick sloping plinth. Subsequently, the building was extended westward alongside the plinth. The pavilions built thus made this building special enough to house the love of Baz Bahadur's life. The pavilions are square in design with hemispherical domes and were special to Rani Rukmati too. For she could see the Nirmada in the valley below. Rani Rukmati the love interest of Baz Bahadur lived here and is said to have gazed at the Baz Bahadur's palace situated below and also at Nirmada river, flowing through the Nimar plains far below, a river which the queen revered. Rani Rukmati's double pavilion perched on the southern embattlements afforded a beautiful view of the Nirmada valley. Indeed, the view from here at sunset or by moonlight across the Nirmada valley below is truly awesome. Baz Bahadur, ever so fond of music, was the last independent ruler of Mandu. Rukmati was a shepherdess and singer. Once out hunting, Baz Bahadur chanced upon a shepherdess frolicking and singing with her friends. Smitten by both her enchanting beauty and her melodious voice, he begged Rukmati to accompany him to his capital. Rukmati agreed to go to Mandu on the condition that she would live in a palace within sight of her beloved and venerated river, Nirmada. Thus was built the Reva Kund at Mandu and near the pavilion. Though Rani Rukmati's pavilion was built as an army observation post initially, it served a more romantic purpose as Rukmati's retreat. From this picturesque pavilion perched on the hilltop, the queen could gaze at her paramour's palace and also at the Nirmada flowing by, below. Rani Rukmati was a poet and the consort of the Sultan of Malwa, Baz Bahadur. Rukmati features prominently in the folklores of Malwa, which talk about the love between the Sultan and Rukmati. This romance is considered a legend by some whilst others consider it to be true. Baz Bahadur had mastery over Rag Deepak while Rukmati had an incomparable hold over Rag Malhar. It is said that when she sang Rag Malha the sky became clouded. Their shared love for music was the bridge that connected them and redefined the emotion of love itself. It was music that connected the two with Mandav. The winds that blow over Mandav and its green landscapes are still filled with Baz Bahadur and Rukmati music. The immense love that the queen had for music was peerless, so was her faith in modern Nirmada. She started each day of hers by paying reverence to the river Nirmada, for which, she went to the terrace of a grand building situated on the summit near Baz Bahadur Palace. Unfortunately, the romance of this Muslim prince and Hindu shepherdess was doomed to a failure. As the great Mughal Akbar decided to conquer Mandu, Akbar sent Adham Khan to capture Mandu and Baz Bahadur went to challenge him with his small army. Since it was no match for the great Mughal army, Mandu fell easily.
A film in Hindi was made on this romantic story titling Rani Rupati in 1957 by S. N. Tripathi. While the title role was played by Nirupa Roy, Baj Bahadur's role was played by Bharat Bhushan. The story of the film goes like this. Rani Rukmati is the story of two lovers of music, who gave their lives in pursuit of their passion. Baj Bahadur, the Prince of Malva, is a highly respected singer and musician, while Rukmati, the daughter of Thakur Tan Singh, is skilled in the practice of folk music. The two befriend each other, each impressed by the other's talent in music. However, Tako Tan Singh does not approve of their frequent meetings and betrothes Rupmati to another. Rupmati's fiancé, after a brief dalliance, refuses to marry her. Tako Tan Singh attempts to poison Rupmati to remove this stain on his honor. By the blessings of her family deity, the holy river Narmada, Rupmati's life is spared, and she reaches the abode of Baj Bahadur. Once there, she diverts the waters of the Narmada, thus saving the drought-stricken locality and returning it to an abundance of lush greenery. Viewing her as their savior, the formerly starving people of Manda begin to address her by the title of the Rani of Malva. As time passes, Rukmati and Baj Bahadur begin to practice music with each other. Together, they compose many new ragas. Word of their expertise reaches the Emperor Akbar, and he expresses his wish to include them as members of the Navratnas of the nine skilled artists enjoying his patronage. To wet the two, Akbar sends Tan Singh, the most renowned musician from his court. On hearing their music, Tan Singh praises the two immensely, dubbing group Matida, Mira of Malva. However, Tan Singh is then abducted by the scheming Sabida Hafiz Khan, who lays the blame for the abduction on Baj Bahadur. Enraged, Akbar asks his chieftain Adam Khan to lay waste to Malwa and free Tan Singh. In the ensuing battle, Baj Bahadur is wounded and has to leave the battlefield. Disobeying Akbar's expressed wishes, Adam Khan captures Mandav and tries to force Rukmati to marry him. Having heard of this, Akbar sets out for Mandav, while the injured Baj Bahadur also undertakes a risky journey to rescue Rukmati. Before he can reach her, however, Rupmati receives false news of his death. Miserable, and bent on saving herself from marriage to Adam Khan, she consumes poison. Adam Khan is foiled, while Baj Bahadur gives up his life in repentance of Rupmati's death as he sits at her feet. The tragic and untimely death of the two freed artists moves even the great Emperor Akbar to tears. Immortalized by their passion, Stories of their love for music and for each other continue to live on as legends to all who live in Malva for the ages since. YouTube link for the movie, Rani Rukmati, is given in the end screen, for those interested to watch the movie. Please, like, comment, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for more updates. Please, visit my webpage at https.wordpress.com.